Hello from Myrtle Beach. Today we're going to take you on a tour of Ocean Boulevard here in Myrtle Beach, which is the main strip where all the hotels and entertainment and other fun stuff is located. Hi, I'm Carmen. If you're new here, we cover everything Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area. And if you're a return viewer, welcome back. We are so glad to have you with us. So straight ahead on the right side of the road here is the new uh, Holiday Inn Vacation Club Resort. It is set to open in April, so it's right before opening right now. So that's super exciting, and that's something new here in March of 2024. And then there's Damon's Restaurant. It's Oceanfront Dining. We do have a video review of that if you're interested. Uh, so welcome. Today is right before, or actually it's during spring break now because we're the week before Easter and we're also the week after Easter will be busy as well. And, and there's spring breaks throughout March and April. They're not all before and after Easter, but that tends to be the two busiest weeks. Uh, if you're wondering where all the people are, it's a little bit early in the morning. It's 940 right now. We always get asked that, but also more importantly, it is cold and windy. It is 45 degrees with about 20 20 mile per hour wind so it's quite cold today so that's going to keep a lot of people indoors uh, they might be in having breakfast at a pancake house or something fun like that because this is not a day to be like hanging out on the beach walking sure but just sitting it'd be a little too cold for that so we always get tons of questions about the weather this time of the year uh, the best thing we always give as advice is dress for all types of weather uh, or pack for I should say all types of weather bring layers uh, you want to bring shorts and t-shirts and you also want to bring stuff for days like this where it can turn chilly uh, because we're going to have high winds the rest of the day today and so it's going to be pretty pretty chilly all day where you'd want a jacket with you so we actually do have a lot of new news here on ocean boulevard a lot of big announcements have been made so we will let you know about those as we pass those items uh, in the meantime, I want to ask, when are you coming to Myrtle Beach next? Let us know in the comments below when your next stay is. Also, let us know if you're here for spring break. We'd definitely like to hear about that. Uh, or do you avoid spring break? Let us know that in the comments as well. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find our videos, so we greatly appreciate that. So coming up this uh, breezeway you see across Ocean Boulevard, that is the Landmark Resort. It is currently the only uh, breezeway over Ocean Boulevard, but they are making plans further down, further north from here. Uh, we mentioned this in great detail in our What's New in 2024 Myrtle Beach video, so I'll link that in the description below. There is going to be a new Margaritaville Resort. Uh, that's the plan. That could change, of course, but right now that's the plan and they do plan to have another breezeway across Ocean Boulevard. So this will no longer be the only breezeway across Ocean Boulevard. So that's some pretty exciting news. Uh, we're going to pass that vacant lot a little further down. If I can remember, I'll point it out as we pass it. But if you want to see all the details, check out that video I mentioned in the description below. Uh, so other big news, we are coming up. It's I can barely see the Swamp Fox Coaster right now. It's will be coming into your view on the video very shortly. Uh, Family Kingdom is a fairly large amusement park here. It's definitely a family friendly. There are tons of rides for your little ones there. Um, it's the type of amusement park where you don't have to pay to get in. You can pay per ride or you can get tickets for multiple rides or you can get all day wristbands. Uh, you can check out the pricing on their website. Also, I recommend checking out their website for their calendar because their hours vary. They did just open this past weekend, uh, so they are open for the season now. They do take the winter off to do refurbishments and add new things, and that is the big news this year. Uh, so like I mentioned, Swamp Fox is the large coaster you're going to see. It's a large wooden coaster. Brian's ridden that, said it was a lot of fun that you could see the ocean from there. It looks like they're testing their Ferris wheel right now because they are not open this early in the morning. Currently, they're opening at 1 p.m., but that changes week to week, so that's why I recommend checking their calendar. But in addition to the roller coaster I mentioned, they are adding six new rides this year, including Techno Jump, the Lunatic, the Vertigo, 
kitty teacups, samba balloons, and crazy crabs. Uh, so that's a lot. Six new rides in one year. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. And then if you notice this vacant lot on the right, we still have no information on that. Uh, the last rumor was it was going to be parking, uh, but that's some primo oceanfront property. So I'd be surprised if they don't do something more with that. That used to be the Splashes Water Park. Uh, so that is no more. It used to be affiliated with Family Kingdom. Uh, that closed down in, I believe, 2020 and never reopened again. And, and then it was later demolished, as you can see uh, from the vacant lot. Um, some pretty exciting news about Family Kingdom. We do have a Family Kingdom video on our channel. I will link that in the description below. They do charge for parking there, so that's something to keep in mind. But you can also park on the city in the city parking, like the metered parking. There's a fee for that too. But if you're only going to stay a short time, like say you just want to go and ride for an hour or whatever, it might be cheaper to park in the city parking. So that's our tip. Uh, to you it just depends on how long you're going to stay and and of course if there's street parking available there's not always street parking available uh, but if you're staying at a hotel here on the south end that can also be a fun option to walk to uh, if you have a family and would enjoy those family friendly rides i will warn there's not a lot of what would be considered thrill rides swamp coast is definitely uh, swamp fox is definitely a fun coaster and they do have a crazy mouse style coaster called twist and shout uh, they do have a small drop ride so not a ton of thrill rides but it's still there's something there for everybody so a lot of fun there got some hardcore people out walking this morning in the cold uh, we actually walked earlier this morning as well uh, it, it, this is one of those days it would actually be beautiful if it wasn't so windy. It's the wind that makes it chilly, but otherwise with this bright sunshine, it actually wouldn't feel too bad even though it's in the 40s. Uh, but it's funny, as I talk to you, the temperature keeps dropping. It's now 44 degrees, so it keeps getting more chilly as the day go on days goes on but you know what a day at the beach is a day at the beach uh, like we can always make the best of it we live here but you know even if you don't you can bundle up go out and have some fun plus there's a lot of fun indoor activities to do here uh, if you're interested in those we have a video about what's fun to do when it's cold or raining i'll link that in the description below because there are so many things to do here that are indoors uh, you can definitely have a fun day no matter what the weather here in Myrtle Beach. That's one of the great things here is there are so much to do um, everywhere within this area. Um, one of our favorite indoor activities I'll just go ahead and throw out there is the um, Ripley's Aquarium. That's a lot of fun. Uh, and that's indoors and you can if you've never been you can definitely spend hours over here on the right is what we believe is new condos with some stores in the lower level uh, we sh again we've shown that in detail in earlier videos uh, we did a what's new on the boardwalk and we showed that in that video I'll try to remember to link that in the description below and so over to the uh, left side they are demolishing I know you can see these tents and stuff but also in the background you can see the zip line they are demolishing that zip line uh, even as we speak I, we brought to you that it was closing and that the city was planning to do some new stuff with this area but now they are just completely demolishing uh, the zip line there are a, a couple of other zip line options here if you're interested there's one at Broadway at the beach if you like to zip line and there's another zip line and ropes course that's off Kings Highway you can just google it so there are still zip line options here if you're looking into that uh, right here is the main strip the central part of Ocean Boulevard the central part of the boardwalk area there's multiple entertainment and eating options here um, you've got hi-fi coffee you've got Myrtle Beach fries you've got all kinds of eating you've got the sky wheel you've got several Ripley's attractions uh, we have videos on pretty much all those things so if you would like to check those out you can look those up on our channel if you're not familiar with how to find things you can either go to our channel page and search our videos but you can also just put in Carmen and Brian Myrtle Beach and then whatever topic you want into YouTube and that will pull us up as well uh, so like if you want to look up Skywell just put in Carmen and Brian 
and Myrtle Beach Sky Will and while you're in YouTube and that will pull us up and you can watch our videos. Um, but also, like I said, you can go to our channel page to find them. Here's another amusement park on the left. Uh, this is Funplex. That does have some thrill rides as well as family friendly rides. So it's a mix. It's quite a bit smaller than Family Kingdom, but they pack a lot into a small area. So that's definitely something to check out if you like amusement parks and that kind of thing let us know in the comments if you like amusement parks and if you want to keep up with everything new in myrtle beach definitely hit that subscribe button that way you won't miss anything new as we come out with new videos uh, we do put out one to two videos a week and so we keep up with everything that is going on here so that you don't have to you can just watch our videos and that way you don't have to worry about it now here on the right is the proposed area for the new hotel i mentioned and also on the left it's going to be on the left and the right hence the um overpass over ocean boulevard so that's going to be the new jimmy buffett's margaritaville resort so that is a huge thing for myrtle beach whether you're a fan of jimmy buffett or not uh, that's a pretty big brand for resorts so that's pretty exciting and they're planning to have stores and restaurants and it's going to be a whole complex not just a hotel uh, it's a full full-blown resort so that's really really exciting here we are at the breakers i know a lot of you have said you stay there and then we've also got the two fairly new marriott towers there's a courtyard in spring hill suites uh, those opened a couple of years ago so those are still fairly new let us know where you like to stay on ocean boulevard leave that in the comments below or if you like to stay somewhere off Ocean Boulevard, let us know that as well. Uh, so over to the right, obviously, is Oceanfront, but to the left is what is considered second row, and there's plenty of hotels there as well. Uh, so if you don't have to have the ocean view, you can save money by staying on second row, and then you still got an easy walk across the street to the beach, and there's plenty of crosswalks on Ocean Boulevard, and the speed limit's nice and slow, and once you get into the summer when it's even busier uh, this is has a lot of cars and you think that actually would make it less safe but it kind of makes it safer because everybody's sort of creeping along so no one's flying down the road um, and that kind of thing we actually bike this quite a bit we have a lot of bike tours on our um, channel and i'm sure we'll be doing more as the weather warms up uh, and that gives you a totally different perspective i will say that if you do choose to bike on ocean boulevard though uh, definitely do so at your own risk because um, people i'm not gonna lie there's some crazy driving that goes on uh, you definitely are taking your own life into your hands as we do uh, but it is an interesting perspective uh, but definitely something to do at your own risk I always love this sea dip the, with the retro looking sign. It's so funny um, with the color TV. I don't know. It makes me smile every time I see it. Uh, we're not to it yet, but I want to point out up ahead. We're coming up to right after this tall, last tall building, uh, the Sea Captain's House. The Sea Captain's House is one of our favorite uh, restaurants. I know we're not affiliated with them or anything like that. We've never gotten anything free from them. We just enjoy their food. It is one of our favorite places to eat here for fresh seafood, really good cooking, really good service, and it's right on the ocean. And they have outdoor seating. They have an outdoor bar. Uh, so here it is right here. Definitely recommend that. And again, we have a video of that on our channel. If you'd like to learn more about the Myrtle Beach area, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.